With now just one week left before Election Day, Indiana's U.S. Senate candidates made their final joint appearance of the campaign tonight. During the debate, they talked about health care, immigration, and taxes. Our political reporter Kevin Rader was there. Good evening, and welcome to the second of two U.S. Senate debates. It was the final debate in a hotly contested race for United States Senate. All three candidates staked out their territory early. I was the final vote to save health care. I fought to secure our borders. I fought to protect Social Security and Medicare. And I stood up for our troops and for our veterans. I've done things in the real world. That's the difference between me and the senator. Never had a layoff in 37 years. And yes, I tackle uh, big problems like health care. Holding premiums flat for 10 years while covering pre-existing conditions, no cap on coverage. I'm just like you. I'm a mom, a businesswoman, and yes, a senatorial candidate. And I'm here to share solutions with you this evening. First, I will uphold and defend the Constitution and fight any politician that tries to take your rights away. I will work to repeal every unconstitutional law. The new hot button issue, birthright citizenship, showed the real differences between the three. In regards to birthright citizenship, that's the 14th Amendment of our Constitution. And so how this should be handled is by the Congress. I will uh, wait and see uh, what the uh, discussion is on it. And if Lindsey Graham is introducing it, I think it will be uh, something I'll take a look at. I'm not going to say whether I support it or not until I read the legislation. No one is above the law. No one makes unilateral decisions in this country. We, we got rid of King George for a reason, right? Can we at least agree on that? King George is gone. We're not replacing him with King Trump. Afterwards, Donnelly said he welcomed the president, who'll be making two stops for his Republican challenger in the final week. But then he took a direct shot Thank at Braun. Mike Braun is an errand boy for Mitch McConnell. I like Kentucky. But Mike's the first Hoosier I ever saw who's nothing more than an errand boy for sure somebody from Kentucky. Normally, I would have a response from Mike Braun. But in this case, once again, he declined to speak with the media afterwards. We're at six days and counting until Election Day. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kevin. If you'd like to read more about the candidates' positions and also see video of that debate from tonight, look for the story on WTHR.com slash vote. There we've also posted some information about early voting so you know when and where to go.